Today I'd like to read for you Walt Disney's The Emperor's New Clothes. Once there was an emperor who loved to dress up in fine clothes. He cared more about clothes than anything else in the world. The emperor had a different robe for every hour of every day. These robes filled one whole floor of his palace, but still he wanted more. One day, two weavers came to see the emperor. They said they could weave a very wonderful cloth. It is not only beautiful, they said, but it is also magic. Magic, cried the emperor. Yes, said the weavers, only wise men can see it. Fools cannot. Hmm, thought the emperor. If I had a robe made of that cloth, I could quickly find out which of my people are fools. So he told the weavers to start work at once. The emperor let the weavers work on the royal loom. He gave them the best silk thread and the best gold thread. But the weavers did not use the thread to weave cloth. Instead, they put it into their bags and the loom stayed empty. They sat and did nothing, for they were not weavers at all. They were planning to trick the emperor. After a few days, the emperor began to wonder about the cloth, so he sent his prime minister to look at it. The prime minister went into the room where the weavers were pretending to work. He looked at the empty loom. Dear me, he thought, I can't see the cloth. Does this mean I'm a fool? If so, I must not let anyone know. The weaver said to the prime minister, see how beautiful this cloth is? Oh yes, said the prime minister, such fine work and so many colors. But the prime minister really did not see a thing for there was nothing on the loom to see. The prime minister went back to the emperor. The cloth is beautiful, he said. It is the finest cloth I have ever seen. The emperor was pleased. After a few more days, the emperor sent his general to see the cloth. The general went into the room where the weavers were pretending to work. He looked at the empty loom. Dear me, he thought, I can't see the cloth. Does this mean I'm a fool? If so, I must not let anyone know. He went back to the emperor and said, the cloth is beautiful. It is the finest cloth I have ever seen. The emperor was pleased. I'll have to see that wonderful cloth for myself, he thought. The emperor went to the room where the weavers were pretending to work. He took his prime minister and his general with him. Isn't the cloth beautiful, said the prime minister. Look at all those colors, said the general. But they were just pretending to see the cloth. The emperor looked and looked at the loom. I can't see the cloth, he thought. Does this mean I'm a fool? If so, I must not let anyone know. So he said, the cloth is more beautiful than any I have ever seen. You must make me some clothes at once. I will wear them in the next parade. Very good, your royal highness, said one of the weavers. Let us measure you. The emperor took off his robe. The weavers took out their measuring tapes. 32 inches here, said one weaver. 17 inches there, said another weaver. Then the weavers pretended to take the cloth off the loom. Your Royal Highness, said the first weaver, would you like the cloth to hang this way? Oh yes, said the emperor, that's fine. Your Royal Highness, said the other, do you like the robe this short? No, no, said the emperor, make it a little longer. Yes, that's perfect. The emperor was so pleased that he gave the weavers 20 bags of gold. If I like the finished clothes, he said, I will give you 20 more bags of gold. The weaver smiled. Now the weavers pretended to work harder than ever. They stayed up all night cutting and sewing. Finally, they said, the emperor's new clothes are ready. On the day of the parade, the weavers came to the emperor's room. They held out their empty arms. Here are your new clothes, they said. They are as light as air. Beautiful, cried the emperor. He gave the weavers 20 more bags of gold. 
Then the emperor took off his old clothes. The weavers pretended to dress him in the new ones. Your royal highness, said one weaver, what do you think of the sleeves? They are wonderful, said the emperor. Is it too tight around the waist, asked the other weaver. Oh no, said the emperor, it feels fine. He walked back and forth in front of the mirror. Yes, he said, the clothes are a perfect fit. But the emperor really had nothing on except his underwear. The emperor's men bent down and pretended to lift his train. They held their hands high, carrying a train that was not there. And so the parade began. Crowds of people came to watch the parade. They all wanted to see the emperor in his new clothes. People say the clothes are magic, said one man. People say that fools cannot see the clothes, said a woman. Everybody was wondering, will I be able to see them? At last the emperor marched out of the palace. All the people cried, Oh, how beautiful the emperor's new clothes are. What pretty colors. What a perfect fit. But of course, no one could see any new clothes. Just then a little girl shouted, But he hasn't got any clothes on. Did you hear that, someone asked. The child says he has no clothes on. She's right. The emperor is in his underwear. The emperor has no clothes on, the people began to shout. He's wearing his underwear. The poor emperor heard them and suddenly he knew that they were right. He was the fool. He had been tricked, but there was nothing he could do now. So he kept on marching. All the time he was thinking, just wait until I get my hands on those weavers. But it was too late. The weavers had already run off with the 40 bags of gold. <laughs> they were no fools.